Hello. Thank you, Dave. Well done. Thank you. Dave Fishwick is a cheeky northern charmer. He made his fortune selling minibuses in his hometown of Burnley. But instead of fancy holidays and expensive cars, when the credit crisis hit, Dave wanted to give something back. So he decided to open a bank. This is late 2008, early 2009. My minibus customers were coming along to me to get funding for their buses, as they had done for the last 15 years. And overnight, that just stopped. The banks just stopped lending to the, uh, to, the, to the bus customers. And I'm thinking, have they done something wrong? Have they made a mistake? Have they not paid the gas bill or electric bill or phone bill? You know, it's not the people that's had the problem. It's the banks that have the problem. So I thought, well, I'll lend them the money. So that's what I did. Bank on Dave, he says, although thanks to extensive red tape, he's not actually allowed to call himself a bank. And he's keen to differentiate himself from banks in other ways too. He offers 5% on savings and he lends that money out to his local community. And no bonuses. Any profits go to charity. Nailed it now, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> There just isn't a Dave in every town, more's the pity. So his isn't a model which could be rolled out nationwide in its current form. But financial experts say lessons can be learnt for a healthier banking system. One point is clear, and this is the point that the Bank of Dave makes, in a way, is that banking has just moved far too far away from its roots. And this basic need to understand who you're lending to, and who you're saving with, has been lost uh, in this kind of mad rush for highly leveraged gains over the last 20 years. Dave's ultimate goal is to bring banking back to its roots. No more faceless conglomerates where computers and mavericks make the decisions and the 1% pocket unimaginable bonuses. Instead, local banks for local people run by the community to benefit the community. It's not a new idea. In fact, it's how banking used to be before the mega bucks and mega banks stepped in. And Dave's starting to get some political support. You have to take savers' money and invest it in real productive activity and to take responsibility for doing it, which is not the way that banking currently works. In his comical, kind of crazy way, he is showing the way to a better banking system, which is responsible, local, in touch with entrepreneurship, and which actually could be the basis for going forwards. There's certainly got to be some way forwards. As wave after wave of scandal hits the financial sector, banking on Dave and others like him looks more and more attractive. One of the sayings I use a lot is, people who rob banks go to prison. Banks who rob people get paid bonuses. That has to stop. Laura Smith, RT, Birmingham.